All right, right now we're building up that vocabulary of sounds. We can do the honk, we can do the murmur, and we can do clucks. And our clucks right now are varying from medium tone to uh, higher pitch and sharper tones, showing that aggression. What we're gonna talk about now is we're gonna talk about how to execute the moan. Um, the moan is a common sound that you hear geese doing when they're in flight, um, when, they're, you know, when they're excited, when they're getting ready to land, there's always that moan going on. Um, the moan is basically the, uh, it's going back to the honk. It's, you know, it's basically that, that part right before the, the note breaks over and the goose is drawing it out. And it's a note that once you hear it, it's very distinguishable between other notes because there's no break to it. Um, just to demonstrate the moan, it's a very drawn out sound that can be used, um, it can be used uh, to show excitement. It can be a, you know, a, sh a sound that kind of shows uh, goose being relaxed. But it's basically just a drawn out note that sounds like this. That note right there is a very effective note because what we're getting ready to talk about here shortly is that note by itself sounds great, but when you start mixing it and matching it with other sounds, it sounds awesome. Okay, the way we're gonna execute the moan is we're gonna start off with basically making that low sound. That low sound that we use for the murmur and the low sound that we basically used to uh, initiate our honk and that low sound that we practiced earlier. It's just that low We wanna start off with that. Then all we're doing is we're gonna stop using our larynx. We're gonna take away our voice and let just our air continue, okay? So let's practice that. You hear how it goes from deep and then it goes to clear and then once I take away that voice, it gets a little bit higher pitched. Now that sounds good, but it's not true, it doesn't have that full moan sound. The reason for that is because we're kind of over exaggerating the note right now. We're not going to, we're not going to spend as much time on the low sound um, and we're going to ease into taking away the voice a little bit quicker. And we're also going to manipulate that air just slightly with our tongue. And it's great that I'm from Kentucky because this came easy to me, but think of the word y'all. Okay, it's a reference word. Y'all, y'all. Feel what that tongue is doing. Y'all, y'all, y'all. It's starting up in the roof of our mouth, kind of the forward part, and then we're dropping it and pulling it back into the y'all part. So let's put all this together. We're gonna start with the low sound, then we're gonna take away the low deep sound, we're just gonna stop using our larynx, continuing our air presentation, and we're gonna add in that y'all tongue movement. So let's kind of, let's just do it. And then as you practice it and you're getting that, you know, that higher pitch sound coming right after the low sound, then you want to start to speed it up a little bit and don't focus so much on the very beginning. And it'll sound like this. It's just a lot quicker and a lot smoother sounding. Now practice that moan because we're getting ready to do some really cool stuff and you want to make sure you're consistent on your moan before we move forward. So practice that moan as many times as you have to until you get it consistent because we're getting ready to have some fun here shortly. 